Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. This is the second video of the Mixpanel course. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Mixpanel on the client side. And in the following video, I will show you how to install it on the server side. Uh, so go ahead to mixpanel.com, create a free account, and you'll land here in this dashboard page. Uh, I have other accounts, so I went ahead and clicked create project, put in a project name, and created one called Mixpanel course. Uh, so you essentially want to get to the point now where you have a project created in Mixpanel, you're not having any data come in, uh, and you just have a clean slate. From here, you'll come up to the settings widget, click that, and hit install Mixpanel. It'll bring you here where you have a JavaScript snippet, and then uh, you can select a different language if you don't want to do JavaScript, but for this case, I'm going to be doing JavaScript. And uh, what I've set up is a local node application that we'll be using for all of our dummy data and for setting all this stuff up. So what I've done here is uh, I've put Google Tag Manager, which is the way that we're gonna implement it. You could always drop the code in here directly, that uh, JavaScript snippet in here directly, but uh, Mixpanel, the Tag Manager, or sorry, Google Tag Manager, uh, the Tag Manager is much more effective for deploying multiple tags and having a lot more unified control. So I would go ahead and put Google Tag Manager in here. If you're not sure how to do that, I have another YouTube video on my channel that shows you how to drop in uh, Google Tag Manager. So I have either my website, if, if you have a website or your application like this with Google Tag Manager installed. Uh, so you can go ahead and go to Google Tag Manager, sign in, and from here I will switch to the appropriate account. Uh, and I will come down to the application that I want. And the first thing I need to do is create that tag with that uh, JavaScript snippet in it. So I'll come in here and just create mix panel tag. Make sure I copy all of that. Go to uh, custom HTML, drop that in here. And then I will just click uh, once per page. And then for triggering, I will select on all pages. And then I'll hit save. And then I will submit it. Let me first check. Uh, I went in here and clicked preview. So I go into preview mode, I went to my application window and hit refresh, and I can see that segment is running, so that's a quick way to preview it. So I can tell that it's working. I'll leave preview mode, and then I will hit submit and just put some notes in here. So I'll say added mix panel snippet, do that, publish it, and now I should have that um, running client side. So the way that I can test this is they give you a, a quick event that you can um, run just to make sure that's working properly on the client side. So if I come in here, I just hit refresh to get that preview window out and I'll right click, go to inspect, I'll go to the console and I'll drop that in there. And I went ahead and just hit enter. So now when I go back into my project, I should now have an event that came in. And here you see it, that video play event that just came in from me in Austin, Texas. So now I officially have the uh, client side mix panel library installed in my Node.js app using Google Tag Manager. Um, so hopefully this was helpful and stay tuned. In the next video, I am going to be doing uh, the implementation for the server side uh, for mix panel. Thanks for watching. Oh, this you crazy mother.